Hey everyone, in uh, this video I want to show you how to summarize the results from your uh, solver. So in previous videos I've shown you how to do solver. Um, here's actually the exact same one I used for the NBA video where it's got all the players and then if you look over here it's got all like the ones and zeros, all the ones meaning that they're in um, in the solver solution and here's all your criteria. But if you want to quickly see, oh, who did Solver pick for me? I mean, it's kind of hard. You got you got to look at the one here, scroll over, and see. Okay, it was Bayless, and go through all of them. It's kind that's of, kind of a pain. So I'm going to show you two ways to to summarize it. The first way is to um, simply just check if there's a one in in the um, that cell. So if parentheses, we're we're doing the if statement here to check if this equals a one. If that cell equals one then we want to pull in the name and if it doesn't equal one we're going to put quote quote so what's pulling in Bayless so what that's basically doing is checking if there's a one in here if there is it's putting it pulling in the contents of cell D2 which is the name if it's not then it's pulling in quote quote so if I start copying this down see it's going to show all the people that are actually in the uh, solution and we can um, do a little more for this if you want to see like what position they are if O cell O2 equals the one then let's pull in their position also and if it's not then we're going to do quote quote to leave a blank so now we've also got the position here and we can do the same for salary if you wanted or, or projection and I would just copy this all the way down and it's going to list all your players uh, let's see let me actually let me just finish copying it all the way down. So now I copied it down. Here's all the all the players you have. These are all your results. Now, if you wanted to kind of summarize this, you could sit, you can do. I'm doing Control C, which means to copy, and I'm going to put it over to here. And I'm going to paste it. I'm going to do paste special values. What that does is see here it's a formula. When it when you paste special the values, it just becomes the name. So now we've got them all here, and we can just sort. If I go data, sort, I'm going to sort by column AE, and there. So now you sort it. You got all the players in, uh, in alphabetical order. You could sort by, by position if you want. So that's just one way of uh, getting it. You don't even need to do this, this sort part here. Um, you could just simply have the uh, the solutions here and here's your results it's this is the easier way to do it but it's I mean it doesn't look quite as good now let me show you the little more time-consuming way to set get it set up but it looks a lot better so first what we're gonna do is we need to create extra columns so when I'm gonna copy all the positions down here I'm gonna move them over to, to the cell the cell AA and now we have to get a formula to move these over because basically what what we're going to do is actually let me set this up this part up first here this is where we're going to pull the players in so we got point guard point guard and i'm going to put all the positions here so these are all the positions and say we want here's the player name that we want to pull in what i'm going to do in here is do a VLOOKUP and if you look up what it does it's going to pull in some pull in the result which which means it's going to pull in the name based on something we're looking for and what we'd be doing here is we're looking for a one so like this is going to work for for center because there's only one result but if you can't look for a number one in here because it always pulls the fir first result and it'll that means it'll ignore the second one and we're only going to be able to pull the first one so what we need to do is kind of do like a running total here to show you like where the one is where the two is and then we can search for that so first we're just going to in the first row let's just copy it over so like I'm just do cell p2 so it's gonna pull this now we're going to check because we want to see if this cell is going to have a result or not 
So, uh, sorry, this is sounding a little confusing, but when you see the formulas, you, um, you'll get it. So we're going to do equals if the cell equals to one, then we're going to add up this plus this cell. Otherwise, we're just going to put this cell. We we'll press OK, and when I copy this over, okay, it's going to give give you an error. So, really, to start off, we need to let's see how would be the best way to do this. We're going to do an if statement. If this cell equals to one then we're going to put that cell. Otherwise, we're going to make it a zero. So now when I copy this over there. So now we have a one or a zero. We can't have these spaces or else the rest of the formulas won't work. So we've got this one for a point guard, which is, matches here. And now we got the running total in, in, in here. See, it's also a one. Shooting guard is, is also is now a one because that's here, and these should all still be zeros, which they are. So basically, we're look, let's look at this formula again. If Q3 equals one, which it, set, which it does, then we're gonna take AB2, which is the cell above it, plus this cell. So it's one plus zero, and it's gonna give us a one. See, now when I copy this down, you start seeing twos up here. So like, here's a two, so this is like the running total and all of a sudden we get a second point guard that's appearing. So now if we look at this formula, if P11 equals one, which it does, then we're gonna do AA10, which is the number one, plus P11, which is also a one, so the one plus one would equal a two. And like in the case, if it wasn't, then it's just gonna pull in the number above it. So now when we copy this all the way down, see right here we got two for each position, and then one for center, which matches what we're supposed to have, because we're supposed to have a total of nine players, two, 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 and one. So here's just our running total. That's all what this extra stuff is doing. And now we want to also just have a formula to refer to the name. So this name's gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna copy it down. So here's all the players' names. I'm doing this just to, because if you look up, it's easier to do. You could also do this with uh, index match, which is uh, a little more complicated. I'm not going to get into that in the vid this video. So now we've got all these players here, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a VLOOKUP to pull in here. So once you see the formula, you'll understand understand what's going on. So VLOOKUP parentheses. The lookup value is one. We're looking at, we want to pull the first name in, and the table array is here. You want to make this the leftmost column. You highlight all the columns, and we're going to go over to name. Which column, our index, what column are we pulling? So that's column one, two, three, four, five, six. We want to pull the, the, the name, and then you always put false if you want an exact match. Click OK, so now it's Bayless. Now we want to do a second one, equals VLOOKUP. Now we're going to look up the two instead. In what table? The same table. Comma six for the sixth column, and then false for exact. And now it's pulling in Curry. So he's the second point guard that was selected. If we had done this VLOOKUP without doing these running totals, all it would be looking for is the one. It would never find a two, so we would not have an easy way to get this. So now we can just copy, do this all the way down. We're going to do VLOOKUP. We're looking up the one again. But now we're looking up in shooting guard. So shooting guard has to be the leftmost column. It's going to look for the one. So what's the column index? We want to, Once it finds the one, we want to go column one, two, three, four, five. So we want to pull the name. And then we want to put false again. And then it's mail. We can copy this down again so it's quicker to do the formula. So we've got mail. But now instead of a one, we're looking for the two. And we can do this again. 
and we just would do this for each position. Now we're on power forward. Comma. Oh, now it's only the fourth column, and it's false. So in order to pull in a, oops, what did I miss here? Oh, wait. First we're looking. We're looking up a one. Sorry. Okay, so we're looking up the one, and here's the table array. This um, all the stuff in blue, and then we got Griffin here. I'm gonna copy it down, and now we're looking up the two. Uh, we'll just get to do this two more times. I'll do this pretty quickly. We're looking up the one again. Uh, actually, I've got these positions kind of backwards, but you know, you get the point of what I'm doing here. Now we're looking up the third column. False. I'll just change it here. This should be power forward. Now when I copy this down, I'm going to change this again to a 2. And let's do the, the last one really quick. If you look up, we're looking up the 1 in this column. We're looking up it here. We want the second column to pull in. Put a false. There. So there's our lineup. Now if say instead of Bayless was picked if all of a sudden he becomes zero like say Solver didn't pick him and then all this number is going to change and all of a sudden Curry becomes number one there is no number two but if we find another point point guard that we want that was chosen say uh, Rondo was chosen put a one in here now everything is going to automatically update Again, we have nine players. Now this becomes new in the point guards here, and we look, and now all of a sudden Rondo and Curry are in here. So that's the uh, the easy. The, the, it's a little bit tougher way to get it set up. Once you do have it set up, that's a lot easier way to just scroll over and see. Oh, th there's my lineup. It's, um, it's a lot easier. And I mean, you can do the same thing if you want to pull in salary or projected points. And you don't have to put the names in here. You could do the index match that I uh, mentioned before, but that's even more difficult, and I'm not going to get into that now, but in another video I will. So I hope this is helpful to you. I know a lot of people have been asking about it, and uh, sorry it took so long to get out there, but there you go. Thanks a lot.